Alright y'all, good evening, well, whatever time you're listening to this, it's time for Trinity Tech Cast, and this is episode 6 today, um, recorded on what, the 27th of November, today's my sister's birthday, I sent okay, her the, okay. I sent her a com- birthday, Mr. Uh, Charles' sister, I sent her a complimentary WhatsApp message saying happy birthday, because <laughs> calling, um, I don't know, I don't I really feel, we not the call, the call, the call type, mm. like, I don't know, but anyhow. All right, so that man in here in the background there is Mr. Redbit underscore tech. And he is, he's just woken up because we were watching football. And <laughs> tell, tell them you should your afternoon nap get messed up. Yeah, I mean, it's not that the football put me to sleep, you know. It was a, it was a pretty nah, entertaining. Yeah, the, 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 the Spain and Germany, that was, that was class. Yeah, that, was, that, was, that was good ball. That was good ball. Um, yeah, you know, it was just one of those days, yeah, I'm going to go and lie down. I was on my phone, next yeah. minute I know uh, for us. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, you it, know, I was looking out for your message, so I was like, let me, uh, I, think <laughs> I was looking out for your message, fall asleep. Nah, boy, I messaged you. I get uh, up, I see your message, it's all right, you might do whatever, then I was like, okay, back to sleep. Then I wake <laughs> up again and I remember, hey, yeah. E-Sims. Yeah. <laughs> well... That's it. There you talk very jumping one time. So yeah, we're talking yeah, about e-sims. eSIMs today with Digicel. And um well, we both did TikTok videos um with the Digicel drama. Well, no, the eSIM drama for the iPhone, right? Um the iPhone 14 came along the way and people mm-hmm. were well, they didn't every, not everybody knew about eSIMs and well both our TikTok videos probably read probably reached close to a hundred. 100k. How much else is 60 something, 70 something? I don't know. I ain't Probably. checked that in a while. But yeah, yeah. The, the, ma- the major thing about it was that, you know, Apple was releasing an eSIM only iPhone 14 in the US market. And for most of us here in Trinidad, that's where we get our phones, whether when we visit or family members send. Even some local businesses, I think, purchase their phones from the US. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. And East with eSIMs not being supported, those phones bought in the US would not have worked. And even let's say a local business would have purchased it from an international market, chances are those phones would have been more expensive because of all the, the shipping logistics to get it to China. Yeah, it's easier exactly. to ship from the US than from Canada or, you know, other UK the UK market perhaps, you know. So For real, for real. I think did you um sell, did yeah. you sell what um did you sell the first out of the gate with official information and well before we jump into this site here uh before when we when we were talking pre-show we we're talking about the fact that this was kind of under the radar because normally these things I would hear about or I would see or somebody would have sent it to me or some kind of thing like that and it's only yeah. after you tell me that this evening I realize yeah. it now we two days late because yeah, according yeah, to the yeah. article. They said it will be available from the twenty, which was Friday. Yeah, uh, eSIMs will officially be launched on the twenty fifth of November, twenty twenty two. Yeah, so, I mean, I checked their social media. I don't think I saw anything. Nothing you know, on any socials. No, no yeah. Instagram, no Facebook, no. Did you sell on TikTok? Most likely they on TikTok, but I mean, yeah, the workers probably on TikTok. They what it, stuff. So what it, what it happened to social media before we jump into this? Like, but all the um. Fiber, the triple play kind of thing, um, yeah, internet. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> or they know they, they're little brand brand ambassador stuff, you know. Right, little, right, right, right. They, they do that kind of stuff. But <laughs> but this, yeah, definitely went under the radar. I didn't see anything. I, I, it was actually a document, an internal leaked document that somebody posted you know, so probably like oh, Wednesday, real? Thursday. Yeah. Wow. There was a leaked You're document kind of that <laughs> spiting boy. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, that that uh, was going to be um go live that same week. So uh, I mean, probably internally as well, it was kept you know under wraps. What not? You have sources. I I want to reach a stage in life where I have sources. Nah, no know. sources. Know. Person post it on um, social media. Oh, you know, okay, I mean, okay, it, okay. But the account probably do get as much reach. Right, right, you know, right. So it would not. Go viral, I, know. I understand. You know I, mean? All right. I mean, this was probably something I was supposed to post on, but well, yeah, by I feel yeah, news. I feel I'll go post a video on this tomorrow and see see what happened. See if we yeah. get any um any weirdos jumping out and seeing. <laughs> I tell you so. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, we, right, so watch this site. Um, be, be um be careful, you know. 
People might tell you you're getting digital free promotion. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, now when I do a video, it's, it's more like a dissection. It's not a um, yeah. <laughs> point out. But it, it still would be considered free promotion. But anyhow, yeah, that's, yeah. that's not now really an issue. So the, the website, I find they went really hard in terms of the frequently asked questions because they answer 31 different things. 31 yeah. different things they answer, and I am I'm glad that somebody took the time to do this. And somebody who was able to, you know, sometimes when you have technical things, Israel be like, you know, this is a very um, complex stuff, and you need to come yeah, in yeah, and, yeah. and speak to one of our yeah. um, they, they, they specialists. They articulate in a way that the lay, the lay person, lay person probably yes, able to exactly. understand it. Yeah. So they start off with what is an eSIM? And eSIM mm-hmm. is also known as an embedded electronic SIM. It's a SIM that is built in your, into your mobile device, cannot be physically removed. There is no physical SIM that you need to insert. And then they went on to how does an eSIM work? What's the benefit of having an eSIM? Here's the benefit that they have. Um, they are limited physical SIM cards slots in a device. eSIMs allow customers to have multiple mobile numbers on one device. That mm-hmm. is that's a strange thing for them to, to put because and I mean this is actually one of the reasons a lot of companies around the world were kind of res- resisting this technology because the yeah. fact that it promotes competition it promotes you know you, you have an AB mobile and a digital number at the same time yeah and you know? even even like I don't know I don't know they, they probably decided to just give a technical person and say, all right, you are good at breaking things down, put this here, and yeah. wherever you put there, we'll trust. But I don't think the marketing Yeah, the, that's and, probably... I mean, one of the uh, benefits they probably could have put here is that yeah. it offers better security, you know, in terms of, you know, yeah, being yeah. stolen. And so that's something, something they could, could have well, probably put here, you know. But they did put... It's hardware to device while physical SIM cards are removable, yeah, but they but didn't really talk about security. Yeah, you need to sell it. You need to sell yeah, 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 better yeah. security. Not just, you know, call somebody who really knows. Let's feel... Uh, all right, let me, mean, see if, let me scroll down and see now. Let me scroll down and see. Yeah. Get, let me get them. So it's 31 things they answer, right? Yeah. 31. Um, how much will eSIM cost? 50 TT. Well done. Not, but, not bad. But uh, <laughs> the start of physical, this is purely a technical switch that I had to turn on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fifty dollars I mean, to, to, I mean, to switch. In order to facilitate eSIMs, I'm sure they would have to do some, some updates, server, yeah, yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is yeah, this year is then recouping that money for yeah. You know, All right, paying I'll, infrastructure in place. A fifty dollars, okay. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, they're the gonna have somebody in the background probably maintaining <laughs> that system and whatever. You know, it's a private company. It's not public. It's not yeah. like they're dealing with where the money going and just. Go away. They need to make back that money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Had a balance. Had you a know, balance. They, they're not giving us eSIMs out of the goodness of the heart. <laughs> so they list out all of the phones from the iPhone 14, go all the way back to the iPhone XR. And yeah. they put all the iPads too. And uh, you know it how people has like try to put WhatsApp on the um tablet and like, thing yeah, and, yeah, and whatnot. Yeah. 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 I know so that. I guess they put the iPads because it is. You know that you know that people has go around taking pictures with an iPad. Boy, when I go to a wedding or <laughs> anything like that, and I see, for lack of a better word, Tanti, pull out a whole tablet <laughs> and hold it up in front of the church, and basically yeah, you can't see the bride yeah. and the groom because this tablet it dinner. I'd yeah. be like, oh god, you can't take a picture with that tablet. But I ain't gonna lie, like, say 2012 when I got my first iPad. Yeah. The camera was actually better than the camera on my phone. So right, I, okay, yeah. I, 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 I did that for a little while. <laughs> ow, ow. Yeah, for a little while, a little... For what? I didn't, I didn't do it in Trinidad, and I only did day. it... I only did it, like, one day when I went to, like, an aquarium in the U.S. So that was the only time <laughs> I did it. it. Okay, our aquarium yeah. is cool, but you see inside a public place, holding yeah, up a tablet yeah, yeah. and blocking people, <laughs> like, nah, it's okay. That's what I made phones for. Then let's yeah. see Samsung Galaxy S22 all the way back to the S20. So anything from S20 up, they put, and they said some Samsung handsets may require a software patch to allow eSIM to work. So that means they know that the A-series could um could do it. It's just mm-hmm. that the A-series need to be updated. I think from the A30, A52 up, I think, or A51 up, but I can't remember, but somewhere around there. 